right, hey guys, Shoe Detector here. So today we are back at the tot lot that we hunted about two weeks ago. Um, when I hunted it two weeks ago, I was in park mode and I just used all the default settings. Um, while it's good to use the default settings sometimes, the reason I was hunting the tot lot was because I wanted to get like all the sharp potential nails screws whatever out of the play area but because I was in the default settings the double score discriminated out pretty much anything that rings up below a 10 which could potentially be a lot of bad stuff so we are back out here with the double score and today I'm going to be still in park mode but I'm going to change it to all metal so we are not going to be discriminating anything out for today's hunt. So I've got my AccuPoint pin pointer, I've got my digger bag, I've got my CKG little digger tool over here, and of course I have the Nocta double score with me today, so I've got everything I need for a great day of metal detecting. So I'm gonna get geared up and we can get to doing some metal detecting. All right guys, so let's start by getting the double score set up to the settings that we want for today's hunt. So I'm going to turn it on, and the double score will automatically start in the same settings that I finished hunting in the last time it was on. We're in beach mode, so let's go ahead and switch it. Okay, so now we are in park mode, and you can see this F here, so I want to change that because right now it's discriminating out anything below a 10. So I wanna change that so that it says A, and to do that, I just need to hit this little button right here, and you'll see it change. So that's C for custom, A for all metal. So that's where we wanna be. So again, because it defaults to the old previous settings, everything else should still be the same, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it. So I need to open up this bottom menu here. So we're gonna hit the settings button and it pulls that up. So now I'm going to scroll over to my volume. So we are still at three and I'm not using the headphones today. So I think three will be a decent volume where you guys should be able to hear it. And for my backlight, it's still at five, so you guys should be able to see it here with the sunny conditions. So we are good to go there, so I can go ahead and close my menu. All right, so now we are ready to start looking for targets. All right, guys, so I've got a target here. Reading up as a solid, well, it was a solid four. But if you look at the depth gauge over here, all five bars are lit up which means whatever it is, is super deep. So because it's so deep, I'm not going to dig it. My main concern is getting the stuff that's like relatively close to the surface. So maybe four, maybe five inches down, and that's it. That is going to be more than five inches down. So I'm not going to bother with it, but I wanted to show you guys um, that the double score is picking it up because that was lower than the 10 that originally uh, anything below 10 was being discriminated out. And I wanted to show you guys the depth gauge over here. So I've got a target right here, ringing up 50, 51, two to three bars down. At first I was worried it could be the swing, so I did move it to double check and it's still ringing up 50, 51, about two bars down. So let's see if we can find it. I found it, it's a quarter. Nice. We'll see if that was it. Yep. All right guys, so I'm done with the tot lot. Um, I surprisingly didn't find anything else. So between our last hunt and today's hunt, there's been no new drops, and evidently I didn't miss anything the last time. So I'm going to check out these trees and see if we have any luck over here. Um, I think last time I found that part of a smartwatch, and I want to say one or two coins over here. So we'll see what we find today. All right, guys, so there's something here. It's jumping around. 32, 33, 37, the depth is all over the place. So, <laughs> it's either super close or it's super far and it's little or it's big. I don't know, let's see if we can find it. 
All right, so it's super close. <laughs> All right, so I got it. Oh, ah. Well, there we go. <laughs> pull tab or well a beaver tail <sighs> yep that was it all right guys so I've got a target right here it's kind of Jumping around, well, 41, 42, there was a 12 in there. It's saying it's about three bars down, two to three bars down. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, oh I see it. I see it. Uh, looks like a penny. Kind of crusty, corroded penny, but a penny nonetheless. Maybe that's why it was jumping around a little bit because it's got some of that corrosion on it. Is that glass? Um, no, what is that? Um, I don't know what that is. It looks like a little bag. I hope it's not the drugs. Let's see. Ugh. I don't know if there's something in it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't know what's in it, but I am gonna take it. We'll put it in my my pokey bottle just in case. There you go. Alright. I might have found some drugs. Let's check it. Yep, that was it. All right, guys, so I've got a signal here. So 26, 27, this is saying it's about three bars down. Got a smudge on the screen there. Um, two to three bars down. Let's see, I'm still by the trees, obviously. Oh, wait. Yep, that's it. I didn't even have to dig for it. What is that? Uh, looks like a button. I can't read what it says. Or, well, part of a button, I guess. Um, I can't quite read what it says, but it's got a little star on it. It almost reminds me of, like, the Converse logo. Yeah. Uh... Maybe I'll be able to read it when we get it back home. I can use like a magnifying glass or something. Yeah, all right, cool. I think that was it. Let's check. Yep, that was it. All right guys, so I've got another target here. This one's 22, 25, 26. Again, the readings are jumping all over between two and five. It almost seems like if the target is right on the surface, the readings kind of jump around a bit. <sighs> hmm, maybe it's not right. Oh. Oh, ah. Boo. Uh, some kind of, I don't know, aluminum something or other. Mm, well, maybe that's why it was jumping around because it's all crunched up, I guess. Dang. All right, guys, so we've got a target here. 30, 31, two to three bars down. 
It looks like there's a lot of roots here from this tree though. We'll see if we can get to it. Uh, oh. Let's see. What? I'm not seeing anything yet. Dang, it's still in there. Maybe I missed it a little bit too. Or I'm moving it. Oh, ah, oh, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Pull tab. <laughs> All right, guys, so here are my finds for today's hunt. So these are my non-metal items. This is pretty much just the trash that I saw sitting on the surface. This weird mystery bag, I think, I'm not sure. There's something in it, but I don't know what, but I don't want to mess with it. And then these are my metal finds. So I found a pool tab, a beaver tail, a piece of some kind of can, I'm guessing, mm, random iron, this is a wrapper, this little button here, I'm still not able to read what it says on there, unfortunately. And then my two good finds are this penny and this quarter. So these are all my finds for today's hunt. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it was one of my shorter hunts due to there really not being any targets. I am actually surprised that I didn't find any like screws or nails in the tot lot. All the other times that I've hunted like other than my most recent hunt, I have found screws and nails. So I was positive that there were gonna be some in this playground area, but there wasn't. So when I moved over to the trees, I did switch the double score out of the all metal. I put it back into the F mode, which discriminates anything below 10. So while I did find a couple of targets over by the trees, I'm kind of surprised that there wasn't more to be found, be it good targets or trash targets. So after today's hunt, I think it's probably safe to say that this tot lot and the tree area are probably pretty well picked over, so I think I won't be back to this area for several months. Um, I'm gonna give it time for there to be more kids hanging out, more people hanging out by the trees, and then maybe I'll try it again maybe next year. If you liked today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel yet, please make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys later.